studying from arinama with vyakarana and shabd prakarana which is the second one sarveshwaranth lakshmi linga section we did uh, gopi sangya the last time e u lakshmi gopi sangya words ending with trivikrama e or trivikrama u uh, in lakshmi linga in the feminine gender they are called gopi gopi sangya and yeah so then the next word is stri stri woman so stri yukta su um radha vishnu janabhyam ipascha trivikramat sor hara that's 138 so we delete su after stri so we get stri स्त्री भ्रुवो रियुभ सर्वेश्वरे स्त्रिया अंशसोर वा स्त्री भ्रुवो रियुभ सर्वेश्वरे स्त्रिया अंशसोर वा द ई एंड उ ऑफ द वर्ड्स स्त्री एंड भ्रु सो स्त्री मीन्स वुमन एंड भ्रु मीन्स द आईब्रो भ्रुकटी ऑल्सो ना दिस इज भ्रुकटी भ्रुकुटी और भ्रुकटी भ्रुकुटी भ्रुकुटी Uh, so the trivikrama e and u of these respective words become i y which is e and u respectively when a vishnu bhakti beginning with the sarveshwara follows but this change is optional for the words tri when the vishnu bhakti is am or shas follow okay so it's a very specific sutra this one just for these two words tri and bru so when we have any vishnu bhakti beginning with the sarveshwara following so the trivikrama e of stri becomes e and the trivikrama u of bru becomes o so okay is shas a vishnu bhakti beginning with the sarveshwara this is from arendra shas 2.3 yes prabhuji is it a vishnu bhakti beginning with the sarveshwara i mean i have lost track of the uh, the words prabhuji i haven't view the previous videos okay so, so the point is i'm just crashing yeah. Uh-huh. yeah so the point is that so i hope you know the pratyas at least the 20 21 pratyas so how just amoshas ityadi so like this is 2 3 pratyashas now we don't count the indicated letters which means shas is a vishnu bhakti a pratyay beginning with the sarveshwara okay similarly the next one is like ta so although we, one can say that oh ta begins with a with a vishnu jana but no we don't count the the indicator letter the it uh, so ta is also a, a vishnu bhakti beginning with the sarveshwara so when we have such vishnu bhakti is beginning with the sarveshwara so this rule is applied for these two words sure bhuj thank you so stri yukt au so au is a vishnu bhakti uh, beginning with the sarveshwara so the trivikrama e stri bhuvo riyo sarveshwara striya amsha sarva so it becomes e and we get stri au then stri ah then stri yukt am so striya amsha sarva when am and shas uh follow so this rule is optionally applied so when we do apply it then we get striam and when we do not then we apply the shavtara the amsha sor aram hara and we delete a so we get striam so both striam and striam they are right then striya u in shas also two options once we change it to e so we get striya another time uh, we just delete a by the shavtara the amsha sor aram hara and we get striam स्त्री, दें स्त्रिया, स्त्री भ्याम, स्त्री भी, स्त्री युक्त नहीं। Now here स्त्री जो गोपी संज्ञा, so uh, what was that सूत्र? हरित आप वा वृश्चिकों लक्ष्मियां नित्यम तु गोप्या। So when we have a वृश्चिक प्रत्यय following, so a वृश्चिक प्रत्यय means a प्रत्यय which has न ram as the indicatory letter so when we have such pratyay following 
uh, after a gopi shabda a gopi shabda is a shabda ending with trivikrama e or trivikrama u in lakshmi linga so here we have three so i think uh, the, the sutra neyu sthanam gopi striyam vina vishnu swami shiva i think that's because the three is an exception that's why the op is coming here right uh is it not in i you i it's not here uh it's not in the madhyama no it's there it's coming up hmm oh that's a striyam vina is there okay yeah so striyam vina right so yeah so harita abba prashnesh lakshana nityam to gopya and by that one we insert this up after stri shabda because a prashni pratyay is following so then idvayam uh then this one stri bhrugo riyogos sarveshwari stri amsha sarva is applied right and we get iya here and then idvay ai stri ai stri ai stri bhyam stri bhya same here ृष्णेशन Hmm. and then us dashavatarikatmake militva trivikrama so we get striya likewise same here in 61 striyo striyukt am vamana gopi radha bhyo nutami so this is a gopi shabda so we insert nut and we get stri nam then rasha ridibhunasana so we get stri nam stri nam स्त्री युक्त नी विंसर्ट आप हरिता आप वा प्रश्नेश लक्ष्मी आप नित्यम तो गोप्या देन दिस रूल स्त्री ब्रुवो और योगो सर्वेश्वर स्त्री आम शशोरवा देन नी राधा म्याम नेर आम नी गेट्स प्लेस बाय आम आफ्टर दिस राधा शब्द एंड देन दशावतार एकात्मके मिलित्वात्र विक्रमा सो वी गेट स्त्री आम स्त्री देन स्त्री युक्त सु सुप दिस विष्णु भक्ति सिद्ध विष्णु पदम वी कंबाइन एंड देन शत्व विधि ईश्वर हरि मित्र कराम अनिभ्य प्रत्यय प्रत्यय वेरंति सस्य शो इत्यादि स्त्री शु स्त्री शु दुष्टा सु वार्षने इन भगवद्गीत स्त्री युक्त सु 81 दिस इज अंबादी नाम गोप्यश्च वामनो बुद्धि 147 that when we have a buddha following what's a buddha sambodhane sur buddha sangya su in sambodhana 81 is called buddha so when such buddha follows so the gopi the trivikrama of this gopi shabda the e rama it becomes uh, vamana whether it is trivikrama e or trivikrama o so they become vamana so we make it them vamana and then vamana eo vamane bhyo buddhasya darshanam so we delete so after that and we get he stri o woman and likewise kriya striya okay so this is the table stri striya o striya ha and so on in in india even the press can i can i ask a question prabhuji yeah please so prabhuji in uh, traditional sanskrit when we study dirghai uh, karanta shabda the word that is used is nadi right so yeah. nadi nadyau nadya nadim right. nadyau nadihi right mm-hmm. so um, shouldn't it be stri stryau stryaha stream stryau strihi like nadi it, it it doesn't become nadi nadiyau right it becomes right. nadiyau so why are we writing it as striyau and not stryau 
Okay. In Harinamamrit Vyakranam, the equivalent for Nadi is Gopi Shabda. Gopi, Gopyav, Gopyaha, and so on. So this particular word three is like, uh, let's, we can say it's an exceptional form. It's also a Gopi Shabda ending with Trivikrama E, but it follows a different uh, pattern. So, and it has different forms, which we see here. So, but the equivalent for Nadi is Gopi. In Harinama Amrita Vyakrana. Okay. So how, how will like, like someone like me who doesn't know what is an exception, how will I know whether it follows um, like Gopi or whether it follows like Stri? Yeah, because the sutras say, na, like, uh, first of all, we have already done Gopi Shabda. Okay. So we have already done Gopi Shabda uh, and we have made the forms. Gopi, Gopya, Gopya, and so on. So after that, we know that Stri is also a Gopi Shabda. Why? Because it is ending with Trivikrama E. Hmm. So we know that, that this is also a Gopi Shabda. But we have a specific sutra for this one. This one. This 155. That okay. Hmm. For Stri and Bru. Bru is also a Gopi Shabda. Because it is ending with Trivikrama U. So for these two words, there is a special provision which is, okay. which, is a, which is mentioned in this particular sutra. So that's how we get to know. So if you go back, like, yeah, so this vadhu shabda, vadhu, vadhvau, vadhva, ityadi. And then previous to it was gopi, gopi, gopya, gopya, the one you are saying. Nadi. In Panini and uh, other grammars, they give the Nadi Shabda as an example. Here, Jiva Goswami is giving Gopi Shabda. So, like that. Sure, for sure. So, that was three. Then, the next one is Shri. Uh, so here, uh, okay, 134 is Dhato Riduto Ryo Sarveshri Bhavalam, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so Shri Yukta Su. Now generally we delete Su by Radha Vishnu Janabhyam Ipascha Trivikramat Sodharaha. But we had an exceptional sutra. We studied the last time. Avi Tantri Tari Lakshmi Hri Dhi Shri Nam Unadina. Uh, I always forget the third line. Avi Tantri Tari Lakshmi Hri Dhi Shri Dhi Shri Nam Unadina Shabdanam Tu Bhavat Yesham Sulopana. Sulopana Kadachana. Shabdanam Tu Bhavat Yesham Sulopana Kadachana. That Kadachana Sulopaha Na Bhavati. Sulopaha Na Bhavati. Okay. So after even Shri Shabda, so never gets deleted. This is mentioned in uh, 154th Sutra. And yeah, thus we do not delete Su, uh, Vishnu Bhakti Siddham, Vishnu Padam, and uh, Sararama or Vishnu Sarga Vishnu Padante. So we get Shri. Then Shri Yukta Au. Now, in Sutra 134, in the Vritti, uh, we studied that how even in Amrita, uh, that how uh, we have words like Shri, which are basically formed from a dhatu by adding a dhatu plus some pratyas, mainly the kridanta pratyas like quip and so on. So by adding those pratyas and deleting them, like for example, quip is a pratyaya from kridanta. So we add it to a dhatu and we delete it. So what happens, that word, that dhatu, is considered a noun and is also considered a dhatu. Mainly it is a noun, but is also considered a dhatu. It was mentioned in 134th Sutra, uh, the Amrita, I believe. We studied that. So for such words, uh, we had a sutra, 134, that dhato ri duto sarveshwe bahulam. That if we have a dhatu ending with trivikrama e, or Trivikrama U, then that Trivikrama E becomes E, I, Y, when again we have a Vishnu Bhakti beginning with the Sarveshwara following. 
So we have this. So we got we get Shriya. Then Shriya. Like Shriya, Kanta, Kanta, Ityadi. So even some Shodhani explained it here that Dhato Riduto Riyavau Sarveshwari Bahulam is applicable to the word Shri because it comes from the Dhatu Shring Sevayam, which means to serve, worship, dwell, depend upon, depend on. When quip is applied to the Dhatu Shring, the Dhatu becomes Trivikrama by Prachadinam Trivikrama Nacha Sankarshanaha and quip undergoes deletion. Thus, we get the word Shri. So like that. Just to make it clear. Then Neyup Sthanam Gopi Striyam Vina Vrishne Shvami Chava. Neyup Sthanam Gopi Striyam Vina Vrishne Shvami Chava. So this sutra says that any word ending in Trivikrama E or Trivikrama U, except for the words three, that undergoes a change to E or U is not a gopi. <laughs> this is little tricky sutra. So forget about the words three, except for the words three, any word ending in E or U. For example, here we are doing this word Shri ending in Trivikrama E which also undergoes the change to ear, right? By dhato ri duto ri avau sarishri bahulam. So such words, they are not considered gopi. Not considered gopi means that we will not do the operations, the applications, which were done to the gopi words. Okay. But when the vrishnis follow, or vrishnis follow, or when am follows, such a word is optionally a gopi. <laughs> So, I really took time to digest this when I was studying. <laughs> so, Neyup Sthanam Gopi Striyam Vina Vrishne Shwami Chava. Three parts in this sutra. So, the Gopi ride, um, it only has uh, the sutras applicable only in Vrishnis, right? What else is there apart from Vrishnis? Uh, yeah, mainly in Vrishnis and Ambadinam Gopeshta Vamana Buddha is there. Yeah. Yeah, mainly in Vrishnis. Mainly in Vrishnis. Then Striyam Shasarva is there. Deepesha Trivikrama Sorharaha, that's that's not for Gopi, right? That's all for all you, right? Um Radha Vishnu yeah, 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 right, right. You're right. So basically, it's for that only, Vrishnis only, Vrishnis and Am. Other, other one is Pamana uh, Gopi uh, Radha Nudami. There is a Gopi, Nut. But here also Nut comes, right? The yes, Nut comes. Nut comes once, Srinam and Sriyam. How come? Because it's not a Gopi. Because Vamana. when it is Gopi, then we insert Nut by Vamana Gopi Radha Vyo. But when it is not... Uh, Oh, the arm follows here. It's an exception. Arm is also an exception. Hmm. Yes, yes. Arm is an exception. So I wonder then, this is just then Su is the only thing. Uh, with 8 1, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no, nothing else, right? Yes, yes. So we'll just do it. Uh, like Shri Yukt 4.1. Now, Shri is a word. Which undergo, which is a gopi word first of all, and it undergoes the change to ear by dhato riduto riyavau sarveshre bahulam. So the sutra says this current sutra that now Shri is not considered a gopi, but it is optionally considered a gopi when Vrishni is follow or it is arm following six point three. So now Ni is a Vrishni, so optionally Shri will be considered and declined like gopi, and one time it won't be. So, Shri Yukt Ne. So, when it is considered a Gopi Shabda, so we insert up by Harita up va Vrishni Shulakshana Nitin to Gopya. And then, uh, how do we do here? 
नहीं स्थान को भी नो व्हाट इज दैट क्वेश्चन प्रभु दैट ई बिकमिंग ईयर 150 सूत्र वी जस्ट डिड इट स्त्री भुवोर यो सर्वेश्वरे स्त्री स्त्री भुवोर यो सर्वेश्वरे स्त्री आक्ष सर्वा सो वी डू ई हियर श्रीया युक्त ए एंड ए द्वय ऐ सो श्री ऐ दिस वन इज धातु ऋदु तो राइट 150 धातु ऋदु तो ऋदु धातु ऋदु तो ऋदु बिकॉज हियर दैट वाज स्त्री भुवोर स्त्री ओ राइट 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 सो दिस इज आ स्त्री धातोरी and when shri is not considered a gopi then yeah then also we apply dhatu ridu to revo sarveshri bahulam so shri so same similarly we do with all the vrishnis two forms once it is when it is considered gopi and another time simply so shriya 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 shri yukt os so dhatu ridu to shriyo shri yukt am so once it is considered gopi so we insert note and we get shri naam and when it is not considered a gopi then dhato ridu tau rivo sarveshwar bahulam so we get shri naam same with when ni following so shri considered a gopi insert we insert aap dhato ridu tau and ni radha vyam ne ram shri naam and when it is not a gopi then dhato ridu tau directly and shri shri shu and 8.1 shri yukta su so Uh, What is one fifty four? As Ravi Tantri Tari Lakshmi. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, Sutra is Eu Lakshmi Gopi Sangya, but that's in Vritti, so they have written one fifty four. Oh, okay. In my Sutra book, actually, it's in Vritti, but here it's a Sutra. Sorry. Oh, this is uh, Madhyama, right? Yeah, this Madhyama. is Madhyama. Actually, my Sutra book is from Brihat, so I'm just looking at that. <laughs> yeah, so a mismatch. <laughs> so yes so shri shriya and shriya uh so that was shri now your homework will be so words like thi and bhru are declined in the same way like shri so please you decline thi and bhru as a homework like we did for uh for for shri yes yeah the forms are also given so better you try it once by yourself and then you can recheck it from here yeah so yeah basically we complete okay we'll complete it on thursday this section so yeah anything else here so we'll stop here and we'll resume on on thursday with this स्त्री भ्रू श्री इत्यादि द फॉर्म्स आई जस्ट लव वन थिंग अबाउट डूइंग डिक्लेंशन इज यू जस्ट डू वन वर्ड एंड ऑल द वर्ड सिमिलर टू इट दे आर डन
<laughs> you need not do them separately you need not memorize them separately so that's a very good thing efficient study so we'll resume on thursday hari krishna thank you prabhu hari krishna